I'll start by creating a new file and calling it segment.js. From now on, it will be part of our game engine. And so I'll drag it into the source code view in the same way as we created the vector library. I'm going to create a new segment object. Additionally, you would think that the parameters that we need are x1, y1, x2, and y2. And our segment definition visually would look something like this. Standard format can definitely be used to define our lines for our collision detection calculations. To make it more streamlined with vector calculations, and treat this segment as a line that has an origin point and vector x and vector y coordinates, just like in the previous example. And in many ways, it's just a different way of thinking about the same thing. And as far as future calculations for our collision detection code, we can rewrite these parameters to match those with the diagram we just saw. Vec x and Vec y. So it's really the same thing, except now this is the origin and this is the vector that extends from that origin instead of having two points determining two end points on the line. Just like with the vector example and the point example, the first thing you want to do is draw the segment. And of course, first we need to ensure that the past variables match those that were passed within this constructor function so we can actually create them within this object now let's add the function that will draw this segment on the screen remember that we're not passing any parameters here because they're already defined here and this function can access them mainly because it belongs to the same object we're going to use canvas graphics object to draw the line and every time you draw a new shape on canvas you have to start it by calling begin path function to draw a line first we need to determine the width of the line and canvas has a function line width to do that, let's make our lines 2 pixels in width. We already know what the x and y position of the line is because it is determined by this origin. And so we're going to move to this position and we're actually going to draw the line from that point to another point which is plus and on the y-axis this y plus vector y remember that the vector is a standalone coordinate system that requires an origin position and this xy on the segment serves as that origin and just like in the point example now we need to assign some color stroke style will be equal color and we need to stroke we can always change the parameter list for this function by specifying width and color just like we did for the, the vector and point objects and in that case we need to replace this one with width and the color will come from here so we have just added a new draw function to our segment and just like with the previous example where we were drawing points let's try that out on canvas I'm going to go back to the game and make sure that the segment object is added here we probably don't need this one because it might break JavaScript code so I'm going to temporarily comment this out and I'll go into our main loop and so what I'm going to do here I'm going to create a bunch of 
segments using this new object that we just created and I'm going to specify its coordinates using the math random function again I'm gonna specify the canvas size and the vector that will come from this origin point will be determined by similar function and so now all I have to do is call the draw function from the segment and we'll pass the width of one and color red so I'm gonna save this and see what happens now it's time to refresh the browser and in my console view I have segment is not defined so we're gonna take a look at that I'll go and check uh, the segment object and obviously I, I typed an S here by mistake and that didn't compile so I'm gonna save this I'll go back to the game resave everything and refresh the browser and as you can see we have a bunch of lines being drawn as it's running I can maybe add another segment by copying and pasting this code and this one will be blue so let's try this out and see if this actually draws two different types of uh, lines and it seems to be working just fine and so this is how to create a segment object with one basic function of drawing that segment and just like with the vector library we also need to add a couple of functions here to extend our segment class this is important because in collision detection some of the operations are done within the segment class that we absolutely need and that's what I'm going to do in the next part of this tutorial for now I'll go ahead and erase all of this and resave this and refresh the canvas so we're back to a clean canvas remember that we already have the direction of the line stored within these vectors so in our future collision detection calculations to get the direction of the line we simply need to access these properties but we still need a function that calculates the length of the line this function takes no parameters and just as we did this with vector the length of a line is calculated by first calculating its delta and the delta is the difference between two ending points so in this case it would be and it's exactly the same for the y coordinate notice that we are adding the vector to this point and then we're subtracting this value from the origin so finally to calculate the length of the line and return it we can use the square root function and the value that will go here is actually multiplication of both deltas and this return value will equal the length of the line you can download the source code for this tutorial by clicking within the box that you see on the screen and you'll get the source code version that was designed while recording this tutorial other tutorials will also have their own versions of source code which is based on the same game engine that has been in development so far in the tutorial series
but each separate download file actually contains that example from that tutorial from which you downloaded it and once again we've come to the ending of another tutorial and you can support this channel which will usually result in me writing more tutorials so I posted these links that you're seeing on the screen that you can use to support my work and I will see you in my next tutorial.